All right, hello, idiots on parade, the too ugly for TV podcast. We mock the news so you don't have to. Hello, Jake. How's it going? All is well here. That is Jake Vevra, stand-up comedian in New York City. I am Nathan Timmel, stand-up comedian in Iowa City. Let's jump right in. We are, uh, nothing's changed in the world, really. Uh, it wasn't a six-day war. Uh, we the, the big story is still... At least things have not spread. Everyone worries about uh, Saudi Arabia jumping in or Iran or someone getting frisky. So far, it's it's limited. But uh, yeah, what, it wasn't a, it wasn't a quick one. We, we, we sometimes these go a couple of days. We're we're at a week. No, this was. I mean, that was such a big uh, attack. You yeah. know that. Yeah. I, I mean, I I think everybody knew. You know, the response was going to be uh, big. You know, well, I'm just saying, like the, like I said, the the six day war was like it was a big attack, but Israel. I mean, I think like, the six door day war. If I'm not wrong, that only lasted like five or six days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just I, that you thought that I don't know. Maybe there was the idea that Israel is just gonna like pound the fuck out of them and it would end. But this this is ongoing. So since it's difficult to make fun of a war, uh, we can make fun of things surrounding the war. Because that's what we do, and uh, we have a follow up to last week, Jake. Uh, one of one of the important stories of last week. We have a follow up. Sweet, let's do it. Porn actor Mia Khalifa dropped by Playboy over quote disgusting and re- reprehensible comments about Hamas attack on Israel. Um, so Playboy's taking a stand. Playboy is going to take a stand. And uh, yeah, what they did is they cut her from their roster of OnlyFans like creators, which I don't no, understand. It's... Playboys has an OnlyFans. I, I missed that. Well, that's what it says. It's an OnlyFans like. So I think what Playboy did is they said we're completely irrelevant. You know, we don't even have a print magazine. We used to show photoshopped beautiful women. Now people can go online and see anything they want so since only fans is so popular what my takeaway is yeah the playboy's channel so playboy said only fans is making money why don't we try playboy branding and they they took a stand like no no you can't show your tits and ass on our platform because politics which means that if i'm not mistaken she can just own her own OnlyFans, she can jump on OnlyFans and cut out the middleman. She doesn't need Playboy taking 10, 15 percent or whatever their cut is. If anything, yeah, Playboy, they they were taking they were taking a cut. They were colonizing her OnlyFans as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and now that colonization has ended. She gets 100 percent of the OnlyFans money. Yes. So I don't, I don't understand how she's. First of all, it's funny. Like we said last week that you are punishing someone showing their body and doing sex acts there's nothing wrong with sex work we approve of it uh you're punishing them for having political views you don't like like again jake you called it last week oh no this hot woman who i'm masturbating to i disagree with her politically there goes my boner i'm not yeah dude in terms of like uh, 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 porn stars I masturbate to. I don't care if they're Zeke Heiling and Goose stepping over to the dildo. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's got nothing to do with why the hell I'm there. So uh, go crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you're, uh, I'm not into uh, Zeke Heil porn. You know that that's one thing. Well, but how much of it you actually seen? Give it a chance. Okay, I'm, but if 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 you're doing it on your off time, it's like, oh, in her spare time, she collects World War II collectibles because she has a really uh, bad take on what Hitler did. All right, that's horrible. As the as the title says, it's reprehensible. It's also not going to prevent me from like, oh, well, she's she's really handling the the balls and cock well. I yeah, I, I mean, I don't I appreciate her stance, but what she does with the balls and cock, I I approve. Right. I do like the idea of some a uh, 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 huge Pornhub star going. I'm using the money to buy Hitler's old paintings. Like that's just a weird, <laughs> it's a weird lady, you know. Ah. Uh... Is there anything else in that story that I found amusing? I, I just way to take a stand, Playboy. We will only exploit women who uh, we align with politically. If we still call it exploiting women, it could be you know a feminist. I don't. You know, I don't think it's explo- I mean, you know, they're there willingly. It's not yeah. like they're making them wear a fucking burqa outside, huh? Like that would. Uh, if anything, 
uh, I think Mia Khalifa would take more shit just for doing porn in general uh, over in Palestine. So, well, I think she did. That's that's what made her so popular. It was so naughty. It's like, oh, well, she 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 did a, a video in a burqa. And so that I'm surprised uh, um, Solomon Rushdie got uh, fatwa and uh, she's still out there because, you know, they were pissed at her. Yeah, it's just blatant sexism. What's a lady got to do to break the glass ceiling and get a fatwa, you sexist <laughs> bastards? Solomon uh, Rushdie, he, he kept his pants on and just wrote a book. All right. She's like acting. It's 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 all about, you know, video digital content now. Ain't no one reading Salman Rushdie's fucking book. Uh, but lots of people are watching Mia Khalifa's porn. So if anything, she should have gotten if I'm again, I'm, I'm I'm an atheist. I don't I don't care about Iranian uh, atollahs and Allah and these things. But if I'm working for the guy, I'm like I, I atollah. I think way more people are are looking at her blowing fellas in a burqa and uh, you know uh, uh kind of laughing at old Islam over here. I think she should get twice the fatwas. If you ask yeah. me. I mean. I think when it comes to um, industry and profit, I, I would put porn profits and, and viewership well above readers. And I I am just going. And we're not readers. We're beaters now. Like yeah. she's she's got the viewers for sure. I am just going off memory here. But from what I heard, the the satanic verses was not really that good a book. People read it and said, if he did not have the controversy, it would not have sold. It's like he got lucky that he got paid because overall, yeah, it's kind of a fucking snooze fest. I mean, we've never seen uh, Satanic versus the movie or Netflix series spinoff. So, yeah. Yeah. And even, even South after Park. he got stabbed, if he, he got stabbed in the face at a live book event. If there was anything to make a movie out of, it would have happened after that. Uh, yeah. If, if it's not becoming a movie after that, eh. And even South Park did a two-part episode where they're like, "Ah, oh, we're we're gonna tease, uh, tease, tease some uh, some religion that uh, that that tends to get frisky when teased." So they they took a stand, but no no studio, no Paramount, no Warner Brothers, no one is going like, you know, what we need to make a movie out of that Satanic versus book. Nope, must not have anything to it. Even Satanists don't like that book. No, uh, but we do have another uh, celebrity fuck up that's amusing to me. Where, Where is it? it? Where is it? Not that. There we go. Uh, we've. Is that his quote? Nah, I don't know. We've reached peak meaningless pop delusion. Justice Bieber mixes up Israel, Gaza, and social media flub. Apparently, he tweeted. And you called Justin Justice just now. The flubs keep coming. Did I? I think so. Uh, just. Uh, I, I might have been my speakers. Maybe maybe it's uh, Justice Bieber, and he was eating a Subway sandwich and was talking about uh, hate crimes against white people. There you go. Wait, no, that was Jussie. Oh, yeah, you're right. Who's Justice? Dude, you're not good with the J names today. No, you're, I'm uh, not. Well, you're dropping way. the balls with those. Well, as the war between Israel and Hamas lingers on, members of the public and celebrities, the, the people that are better than you and I, Jake, the celebrities, are turning to social media to share words of support and offer the most meaningful thing they can offer thoughts and prayers with the spotlight of the world on the region. Many find themselves being educated on the longstanding conflict for the first time and are vocally choosing sides. So I love that sentence right there. Many are being educated on the longstanding conflict for the first time and are vocally choosing sides. Oh, I'm just learning about this longstanding. I'm team. I'm going to this team. Like <laughs> you telling me they got beef over there. I'm going with any meaning money. These guys. Yeah, I, how do you not know that they're uh, longer than you are uh, our lifetimes? This, this is like the, from age three on, you should like, oh, something frisky goes on over there. This is just a either way. So continuing. Canadian singer Justin Bieber turned to Instagram to offer support, posting a quote, praying for Israel graphic. However, some keyboard detectives, I love that term keyboard detectives quickly noticed that the message was overlaid on a photo of Gaza in ruins. <laughs> yeah, I will. Hey, let's back up for a second. Keyboard detectives. Now I'm going to go out on a limb and say that even real detectives that work for the cops and the FBI, whatever, a lot of what they do is, you know, um, uh, uh, looking up records and online and looking at cameras. Uh, 
they use a lot more keyboards than they do Sherlock Holmes fucking pipes and magnifying glasses these days. I mean, that's keyboards is how you do about 98% of that job. So yeah, it's all research. And this is literally take a screenshot and put it into Google image search and Google image will say, Oh, this is a picture of Gaza. But I, I have two thoughts here. Um, one is what we already talked about. Who gives a fuck what Justin Bieber's thoughts are on the situation? But then the second part, is this really Justin Bieber? Because from what I've read about most celebrities, they have what are called assistants. And what they do is say, uh, hey, um, I heard there's something going on in Israel and Palestine. Um, we're, we're supporting Israel. Send send out a tweet for me. They, they don't do this shit on their own. Like someone has their phone or they have a team of marketers. Yeah. Someone pro- I, I'd love to believe Justin fucked this up on his own and that would make me happy. I also kind of think it was an assistant that fucked up and just sort of like took a like a Googled Middle East, took the first picture they saw. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, I don't think most these celebrities are standing with Israel. I think someone that's on their staff is standing for Israel for them. And then then they're 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 getting high and eating foie gras. Yeah, and getting like several more tattoos. Yes, he's getting a face tattoo. He's sitting in a tattoo chair. He's not standing for anyone. He's he's got enough, and he's like, wait, Post Malone is more popular than me. I better I better get some Post Malone face tattoos. Yeah, yeah. I well, okay. So, the, honestly, this is an easy mistake to make because he probably didn't make the meme. It was one that he just re reshared or whatever. And like, if you're resharing a post like that, you're not sitting there going, wait a minute. This black and white zoomed out photo looks suspiciously not like this place I've never been to. So that I, I, I think he's getting too much shit for that. Honestly, I would have done the same fucking thing. No, he didn't repost. He just I, I he, honestly he or someone on a staff just literally Googled Middle East, Palestine, Israel, just grabbed the first picture because what he did is he just took a picture and wrote praying for Israel on it. But, you know, if you're stupid, you just Google and you you take the first thing you, you get. But. I nah, love dude, I'm looking at that. So- I think I think somebody else had made that before and somebody on his staff took it. I think somebody else made it. I don't think they're even going through the trouble of putting the, the fucking text on there, making a graphic. I don't think they're doing any of that. I think they're just reposting the picture and that's it. Because there's been other celebrities that had the same thing, right? The same. Uh, well, I mean, uh, they, they, in one way or another, but he's get, I, I getting shit for this specific one because I think this was his take, his his like one of his assistants wrote there's a lot of pray for israel out there but he's the only one that circulated this one so it did come from him sure okay but either either way easy enough to get a wrong picture what cracks me up is the people that are um like kim kardashian put up a uh standing for israel and then took it back down because people were fucking getting mad at her on Twitter or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, there's nothing more disingenuous. Than, there's nothing less uh, 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 genuine than I'm standing with the brave people fighting in Israel. Oh, I didn't know I was getting retweets, though. And and and, and <laughs> mean to, I'm not I'm not willing to take online. You guys keep fighting, though. Keep fighting with the bombs and the bullets and all that. I can't handle all the mean tweets, so I'm not. I'm sitting my silicone filled ass back down. I uh, turns out I I stand for making money and nothing else. I I have two thoughts. One, did you see Ryan Long's video? No, I think you. He's the, he's the New York comic, right? Yeah, yeah. He had a great take on it. He pretended to be an actor trying to figure out which side to take. And he talked about that. He's like, you know, I I, I saw a thing that said uh, Kylie Jenner was for this. So I'm like, good. But then she started getting shit for it. So she like, but he does a whole video of being an actor trying to figure out how to best play it. it he's, I think he said something at toward the end. He, he brought up another conflict. He goes, you know, I, I know a guy that uh, tweeted the right thing about this conflict and he got a Quiznos ad out of it. But it, <laughs> it's a great take on celebrities just fucking. And then my other thought, I already forgot. So fuck it. But um, yeah, no, it's I, it, it, it's totally disingenuous. It totally makes me think of Bud Light. Uh, totally going back on the Dylan Mulvaney thing because because uh, uh, half the country quit buying their beer. Yeah. So then they're like, no, it turns out, hey, trans people, fuck them. I think they should all be in camps, Bud Light, you know. And it's like, what do you? Okay, well, you you don't mean any of this. Um, I but I do I do love the first two responses, or not the first two responses, the two popular ones. The news story took. I'm going to read them. 
Number one, uh, negative, like people are going to have to realize celebrities are not the smartest and will spread misinformation to their millions. Of, we all we know they're stupid. The thing is, uh, teenagers love celebrities. What are you going to do? Justin Bieber. I, nobody expects him to have smart scientist fans like whatever. Um, but right below, I love this one because it just this makes me laugh. Maybe a kind word to explain to him might be more productive instead of shaming him publicly when his intentions were probably just to pray for all the citizens killed and devastated. Everyone is just being nasty about him, but education is key here. Or we could just laugh at <laughs> just who gives a shit? What is this like? Someone needs to sit him down and have a talk with him like, hey. We know you yeah, meant he, well. Dude, he Googled it and got the wrong picture. Was he supposed to fucking get in a plane and take the goddamn picture himself? <laughs> what do you? No, he got it the same way you would get it too by Googling it. It's just, yeah, you know, Google fucking popped up the wrong picture. I'm so on Justin Bieber's side in this. I, I don't know. Like, I, 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 hey, man, that's an easy mistake to make. I think people are giving him too much shit for it. I, I, I'm on both sides. I think it's hilarious. And I, I, I get that he made a mistake. I, I, I don't think I don't believe in celebrity worship and I'm not angry at him like the first one. Like, how dare he He's spreading misinformation? I think it's all funny. I think it's all funny and stupid. I don't have time to be angry. Oh, for sure. I don't have time to be need. I know you're not angry either. I just think it's all no. funny. I if no, like I said, I think it's worse the people who like made the post and then fucking took them down because they were getting shit for it. They're like, what? The war didn't start 20 minutes ago. Like, no, it didn't. It's. It's well, a, it's a kind of a nuanced thing, and there's you know there's both sides have had justifiable grievances against the other side for many many decades. In fact, if, well, if you really want to go back past the forties, I mean you know thousands of years and shit. Yeah, it's 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 uh, the way I think about it is it's it's a, a shitty analogy, but it's like ping pong. You take this incident, what is going on right now? Oh, this side did something horrible, so this side is responding. But then when you expand a little, it's like, oh, well, this side felt slighted because this side, then you expand. It's literally, yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah. But I want, I want to jump to your point of uh, taking a stance and then standing by it, because I think this is hilarious. Names and faces of Harvard students linked to an anti-Israel statement were plastered on mobile billboards and online sites. And there's another store going out there where a, a billionaire donor to Harvard is pulling his funds until they publish the names and faces of people that signed this letter. I, I hate to agree with a billionaire, but like you said, if you are going to make a statement, stand by it. I think the article I sent you might have, they say, doxing in it. Yeah, the doxing truck. If if they're giving their name and phone number and address, yes, that's doxing. But if you are literally just saying, hey, this is Bob Smith. He signed this letter. Bob Smith should stand by it. You signed the fucking letter. But then other people are saying, well, I just signed it without reading it. Well, that's on you, dumb fuck. Hey, man. Yeah. All, all the people that are taking the student side in this one, uh, there was another uh, group of people who got in trouble and got their names put out there and got fired from jobs because of anti-Semitic shit, they said. It was at a little march called Charlottesville. Uh, uh, they had tiki torches and stuff. And none of you fucking assholes felt bad for those guys. It wasn't doxing then. It was just accountability. So fuck off. You know, is, is uh, anti-Semitism is only okay when your side does it? Fuck you. Exactly. And, and, and if uh, cons the thing I don't like is when they bring pro politics, a uh, conservative nonprofit said it organized the truck featuring. Look, if you are going to write an open letter that has a statement on it, you should stand by it. Now, if you want to say I didn't read it, I apologize. That's fine, too. You should say I really fucked up or and 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 I fucked up. You fucked up. But still, maybe take the time to pause and think before you sign something maybe even read it if you're one of these people saying that you didn't read it maybe don't just knee-jerk react and say oh this happened i'm choosing this side because it, it, fucking just sit back like you and i've just said two seconds ago this is a long-standing conflict each side has some sketchy issues to it i you know what are you gonna do it's here here I'll, i will i'll take a stand jake i will stand by these words right now I still hear you. I'm just trying to fix my lighting because no, no, that's right fine. Now, but I, I, I still hear you. Um, 
if it comes to the overall situation, if you have one side that accidentally hits civilians when they are trying to take out mil uh, military targets versus a side that actively targets women and children and babies and the elderly, uh, I'm going to side with the side that accidentally hits civilians, not the side that actively targets them. No, for sure. I'll stand by everything I said. You don't need to dox me at all. I'm right here on a podcast. I hope the Hindus swoop in and, and win this fucking thing. That's right. Uh, Hindus have been making thousands of gods play nice for thousands of years. Yep. They can definitely make Moses and Muhammad be friends. They're they're the same species, for Christ's sake, these two fellas. You know, the Hindus, they got an elephant guy. They got a snake lady. They got a guy with, like, six arms, like the Mortal Kombat character. This yeah. is nothing for them. They will have... They will have Moses and Muhammad uh, 69 in on the Gaza Strip. Ooh. Just don't draw a cartoon of that. So we're bringing the gays in, too. Uh, no, in fact, don't draw a cartoon of that, because that's going to make, that's the only way to fuck this up. <laughs> yes, if you, uh, suggesting it, probably questionable, get us in trouble, but depicting it, definitely a no-no. Yes, yes. All right, right about it only. And we know Hindus are the best at drawing gods. It's just right now, they're, you know, their greatest strength is their greatest weakness in this one instance. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it it's kind of weird because it, it, now I, I I don't remember the exact statement that the Harvard students made. Is is uh, that even in here? Because I, I remember hearing about this in the news. The the statement is, if I can't find it in here, I'm I'm going to paraphrase, but it was, we need to hold Israel accountable for everything that's happening right now. Something along those lines where there there's no blame placed on Hamas for what happened. Which, right, right. And when which what I said a second ago, too? if you are talking about an organization that actively went in and said, oh, babies kidnapping you, elderly kidnapping you, women kill you, know, indiscriminate killing. And you are saying that the side being killed, the babies being killed, that that you can't. I, I don't know who signs that. I don't know who looks at a statement that says we hold Israel accountable for everything and says, I'm on board. Yeah, I, the other side's killing babies, but I, I'm on board. Yeah, you, it, it seems I, I don't yeah, see it in here. But that... It's a lot tougher thing when they're going in and actually like shooting people intentionally, like like they're just going to a concert and going into people's yeah. homes and just executing them. Now, still bad with bombs, but here's the difference between bombs and, and, and same for when Hamas fires rockets too. Sure. Um, at, with a bomb, you can sort of claim to people outside that you were trying to hit military targets. Yeah, now, yeah. whether that's true or not, that's debatable, but you can at least claim that's what you were trying to do with shooting at people at a concert with, with going at people's homes and just, just, executing them yeah. there's no way to claim that you know no. there's there's no way to uh, anyone can claim that so that that's why i think the world is looking at that a little bit different um and when it comes to the 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 bombs when you talk there is again and i'm not here here's here's why i'm being i'm couching everything i'm saying without saying the names of the sides because i'm gonna piss people off either way if they watch but the funny thing is if i say something and you react like, how dare he fucking talk about us that way? Well, then you know that I'm describing you without even saying you. Does that make sense? Like, yes. Yes. If you, well, and so, with this one, there's no way not to piss off both sides. Right. You know exactly. I mean? the, the only way someone's not going to be pissed off that's that's way into this issue is if you just go 100 percent on their side. And right. Completely but that's, ignore I'm just couching other... it not because I'm afraid, but because I'm trying to, I'm doing it deliberately. Right. Like if you right. so when you do have a side that actively so you say bombs. Um, when you have, again, a side that says, OK, we are building a military base right here and our school is 10 miles that way. That's one thing. When you have a side that says, oh, well, we're going to hide our group inside well, right. a school. So when they bomb us, we can say, oh, you bombed a school. You, that's kind of fucked up. Well, yeah, exactly. Like if 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 and and don't get me wrong, like they would do that shit to us, uh, the Taliban in in Afghanistan. We would yeah, yeah. we would they would start shooting at us from you know uh, towns. Now, granted, these towns were like filled with coal lots. They're they they would live in these things called coal lots, which were basically big, like um they were these fort looking things, and like fifty cal rounds wouldn't even punch through the sides of these walls. You know, wow. so you're not you're not 
for the most part, you're probably not going to kill any civilians with, with, with a firefight. You know, you, you're just not doing it. Um, it was mostly us popping at these guys as they stood on the top of these walls or, or stood, you, you know, kind of over the side of them yeah. and, and then plunked and then they would, they would, they would go away. But um, either way, uh, sometimes if it, if it was like some of the bigger firefights, they would, um, our, our Intel people would, would relay messages back to us that they caught from these guys, like sending to, I, I, I don't know, like higher up or, yeah. or, or other Taliban groups in other regions. And the whole thing was bullshit. It was like, um, the Americans were firing at civilians and we bravely defended the civilians. We also killed a bunch of their guys. And it was like, A, we took no casualties. B, we weren't firing into a, a town. We were returning fire into a town. Right. Big goddamn difference there. You know, if you if you leave off the returning in front of the the the, the fire part. Uh, it's, it's, it, it makes it a hell of a lot of difference, but yeah, they would, they would make it sound like we just rolled up and started shooting at Colots and it's like, no, no, no. Uh, you, you broke into these people's homes, shot at us from their Colots. We returned fire. And then later we went back to see if they were okay. And we gave them food and shit. Yeah. Be honest. You lying fucks. You're taking shots at people from civilian areas. That's why the civilian areas are getting fucking shot up. So don't, don't sit there and mm -hmm. act like. Oh, they're just going after civilians for the hell of it. That's not true either. You know? Yeah. You, you show a picture and look, it's fucking heartbreaking. It's fucking heartbreaking to see anybody carrying a child and, and the building's right. blown up and I hate it. And it hurts my heart. Objectively, you say, well, and there's nothing they can do about it. They are trapped in a shit situation. It's the assholes who are setting up shop in the same building saying, ha ha, you can't get us because we're surrounded by civilians. When again, the other side is building a military base that is separate from its civilians because it, it wants right. to create a differential where it says, we don't want you to bomb our school. So we're going to put a military base. We get it. But then again, like you said, when you launch rockets indiscriminately just to hit a side, because you don't care who you hit. Yeah. It's, it's pretty sure. cut and dry. And again, and I'm saying these terms, if you're there saying, well, but, but, but I didn't give a, you know what side I'm talking about. And if you're, that makes you angry, then you have no defense. Well, and and look, I will I will say the the, the size because look, I, I think especially like Netanyahu has done a lot of fucking shit to poke the bear yeah, over yeah. over the past decades. That that yeah, shit they, with they the, keep the building, whole, keep expanding settlements. Yeah, I get yeah, it. The You're, settlements thing. That's yeah. like how the fuck do you think that's going to end? Like you know all the and so it it's um you know I was actually this was years ago. I was hanging out after a show at, just with some comics and one of them was Israeli. Like like she grew up there, lived over there for uh, like a lot of her adult life and stuff. And uh somebody mentioned something about the settlements there and she goes, "Fuck the settlers," you know? And I'm like, "Really? Like you you, wow. you don't like the settlers? Like they're they're Jewish or Israeli?" She's like, "But they're Jewish, but most of these people aren't even Israeli. They're from like Brooklyn and shit." And she's like, no, it, it was kind of funny to hear the, hear her put it this way, because, you know, we tend to look at other countries and think that they all are uh, just sort of thinking the same thing politically. Yeah. OK, Whereas we forget like, oh, no, you know, Trump was president for four years and half the country actively despised him. Biden's the president right now and half the country actively despises him. So, you know, you can you can way have differences of opinions and stuff. But she the way she broke it down was pretty interesting. She was like, well, yeah, we, we have cities here that are pretty nice and they're they're by the beach there there's a lot of cool shit here there's a lot of a lot of cool places to work places to live restaurants bars all that stuff they're they're jewish run so if you're jewish this is this is the fucking place you want to be over here these guys are intentionally moving into tiny little shithole towns like there's yeah. nothing good to do there there's nothing there it's they're they're not run by jewish people they're run by muslim people who actively hate them and they're only going there with the intention of pissing those people off and they're succeeding. And every now and then some psycho comes and bombs us in fucking Tel Aviv. But what these assholes are doing, and most of them ain't even from here, they're from Brooklyn and they're getting us bombed in Tel Aviv because they're, they're going in and they're pissing people off. You know what I mean? And so it was just kind of weird to hear that, um, you know, because I was like, yeah, dude, they, they, would, they would piss me off if I was living there, too. I'd be like, hey, let me just kind of let them let them do their thing over there. Yeah, it's it's you know, what you said. You have it's it's like extremists on any side of any issue where you have they actively want to go poke that bear because they think. And again, this is where the thing you and I hate fucking religion, the idea that, well, 
my and the, the, I was going to say my God, my the, my favorite thing is that Christians, uh, Jewish people and, and Muslims all worship the same God, but they tend to forget that from time to time is that, well, my God is right. So your version of God is wrong. So I'm going to push into your like we're fighting over dirt. Like, no, no, you don't get to live here because my great, 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 great grandfather lived here. So now I settle a claim. Oh, for fuck's sake. Again, going back thousands of years of this fucking pissing contest all over the idea of a God. The Hindus will let all your gods exist together. From East India to the sea, a Hindu land it all shall be. Ganesh, bring it the fuck on. We're waiting for you. All right. What else? We had a couple other things that I wanted to. Oh, yeah. RFK Jr. is jumping from Democrat to Independent. Have you heard interviews with this guy? I'm not talking like recently. I'm talking over the course of, of, of his lifetime. I mean, well, no, I wasn't really following RFK back in the early 2000s. I mean, you know, he just in the past five years, he's popped up several times on my radar. Yeah, he he there is not a conspiracy theory he doesn't love. He the CIA had uh, uh, not John John killed it, but the brother um, Sir Anne Sirhan was a patsy uh, and did not. Uh, did they, he and. Uh, it just there's so much I can't even begin. I didn't line up all this. Conspir- it's just it's is it any, is there anything in this article? No, this is just about back and forth. But the dude is I, I can't understand how people jump behind him if they research everything he has said, which unfortunately I don't have in front of me. It's because they're only listening to um the, the, the most kind of on the surface vague stuff that he's saying, because I can put things that everything RFK says I can put in one of three categories. Category one, that's fucking great. That guy's right on. No one else is talking about this type of corruption on the right or the left. Uh, uh, it needs to be addressed. These politicians have been bought out by corporations. Uh, uh, category two. Well, that's a little weird slash idealistic, but I kind of see what he's going for there. Uh, category three, this man is so insane that nothing he said in those first two categories matters anymore because he is batshit fucking crazy. Yes. And that's I'm Googling here. Are all the conspiracy theories he promotes uh, like COVID-19 targets certain races, certain races, fucking yep. ad off there. God damn it. COVID-19 Also, he's targets. responsible for pop-up ads on news news websites. Did you know <laughs> They're that? They're trying to hide the truth with pop-up ads. They're putting COVID-19 ads in targets front certain of my, races my and stories. gives others immunity. Oh, it must be nice to be one of the races that gets automatic immunity. Um, <laughs> it's targeted Caucasians. Oh, Jake, we're unlucky. Uh, the most immune are, oh, I can't say this word, Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi Jews and Chinese. Mass shootings are linked to prescription drugs. Wait a uh, minute. Tooth- Wait a minute. I, I've heard him say that before. Um, if Chinese people are so immune, what's with what the hell happened? They never would have it never would have gotten yeah, no one it would have ended right it. there. It, that's where it was started. Like it started in Wuhan. Like Wuhan was it completely exploded. Fucking locked down. An exploded. If Chinese people were immune, it never would have made it out of Wuhan. One guy would have gone, "Oh, I kind of got the sniffles today. I might take today off," and that would have been it. That would have been it. COVID would have died right there in that guy's tissue. Here's my favorite one. Uh-uh. The 2004 presidential election was stolen. Yes. That uh, he was convinced voter fraud in 2004 gave George Jr. the election over uh, John Kerry. John Kerry. Uh, that that was not a contested election. Everybody knew going in that Kerry did not have a chance. That was, I don't know what the numbers are, but just the perception leading up to November was that Kerry is the next Dukakis. It wasn't going to be as big as a Mondale versus Reagan in 84 but right. Kerry didn't have a chance. So for him to no. say, no, no, I, if he had said it, like he could have gone 2016. No, Hillary won. He could have gone 2020. The one everyone's talking about the fact he went 2004. I don't is, think that was like, close. How many, how many States did he win that by? It was a lot. Like it was yeah. not a close election. No, if I remember. No, right. no, no. It was not close uh, at all. Yeah. Here's the one I was talking about. Uh, the wrong person may have been convicted of killing his father. That Sirhan Sirhan was innocent. 
um they say oh that he was hypnotized and coerced to kill kennedy the the, the old claim like oh i've been hypnotized and like, gun ownership in switzerland is similar to the united states we've researched the shit out of that no they take training um let's see uh, we, we're running out of time vaccines can cause autism no they don't uh yeah it, it's it's like you said he has an idea and you're like oh well okay uh yeah sure and then he just keeps talking you're like oh for the love of fuck yeah, uh, let's see. Swept the South and mountain states and took crucial swing states of Ohio, Iowa, and New Mexico. So yeah, like yeah. that would have had to rig it in three fucking states. If 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 a Republican can take New Mexico, that that's going to tell you something right there. When Mexico yeah. goes, New Mexico goes red. Right, right. All right. It's, last uh, week we got nice. cut off. We went right to the end. So this week, let's get the promo in. Jake can be found on all social medias at Jake Vevra. You can see him live every Thursday on the Love Gurus podcast, uh, yes. live on YouTube. And then you can just find old episodes of the Love Gurus podcast answers all your relationship questions. We're I dating questions on Reddit. We find a weird on Reddit. One. Yes, I can be found at NathanTimmel.com. And uh, I have exciting news coming up that I will tease right here with the news, but without the launch. Uh, I am opening a T-shirt store, and I have about 15 designs at the ready. And so go to nice. NathanTimmel.com, and there will be links from my link tree in there. All right. Uh, the first, can I make a suggestion for the sure. first T-shirt? I stand with Israel with a picture of Gaza right underneath. <laughs> It'll be good. Actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> you might be able to get Biebs to plug this one. I actually uh, uh, wore my first uh, T-shirt on stage the other night. Uh, it says... All uh, virtue signaling matters. So there you go. There you no go. matter what you want to do, if, you, if you're going to take a picture of you drinking a Bud Light, uh, that's a virtue signal. If you want to shoot your Bud Light, your, whichever team you're on, it matters that you tell other members of your team that you're supporting them. That's All right. right. Thanks and for watching. I, I'm, I'm right in the middle. I was uh, shooting cases of uh, a Bud Light while blowing a trans woman. So I, so, you know, yeah. I, I, I play both sides of the fence on both this. sides. Thank you to Chicago's Comedy Scene Radio. Thank you, uh, Chicago. Appreciate you sticking by us. And Jake, I have bad news for you. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the video channel that wanted us to contribute, um, they decided to stop uh, doing anything. I got a nice email saying, hey, this is too much work. I'm not going to post any videos anymore. So that channel went kaput. But Boo. Not, nothing to do with us. They just realized that taking other people's content and reposting it was difficult. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's they can just go to the original everything's on YouTube. So like yeah, what do you either way? Do? All right. Bye everyone. Later.